you are quite sophisticated, there is a sophisticated synth. You know, and then if you are fun, and I call it, when I say fun, it's got to be something, I like the coconuts, I like the fruity stuff. So it, it just depends on the sophisticated side versus the fun side. And then there's that kind of clear thing that tells you you're a Puritan, you know, where you don't want a heavy scent. And uh, you, it makes you feel like you're on vacation most of the time. We survived. How are you? That was probably one of the big revelations of my life. This little girl kept staring at me and I was staring at her. I saw her on stage and I said, why is she on stage with Prince? That was the first question. And then I met her and it was like she was mine immediately. We had a love affair. Since it's been announced that I was playing Dr. Frankenfurter, I've heard so many stories from so many people about sneaking out of the house to see Rocky Horror, their parents, you know, forbidding them from seeing it, it changing their lives and then realizing they were maybe trans and they dressed in drag for the first time to go see Rocky Horror. So there's so many amazing stories and it means so much to so many people. It's just really wonderful to be a part of this tradition. I like citrus based. I can't stand vanilla. And I think it's one of the big differences between Europeans and Americans. Americans love vanilla and love musk. And I literally can't be in the same room as a vanilla fragrance. And as for scented candles, don't get me started. <laughs> There's been such like a, you know, ebb and flow with their relationship and I just want them to like live happily ever after but you know that doesn't really make for good TV so I'm sure we're just, like, there's going to be a throuple or I mean a, a love triangle situation and you know just classic, classic television. For me, personally, when I change my fragrance, my life changes in a very special way. So I think if we want to, even when you uh, uh, have a fragrance which is a little bit more happier, um, it makes you happier. If you have more seductive fragrance, it, it, you feel different, you act differently. So it's a way how we, uh, through fragrance, we can change our behavior and we can change also people who are um, around us. So it's a, it's a like little magical tool how we can change life. Well, my family is there, you know, and uh, everybody in my family is fine. I don't know from which stand it is everything there, but from what I hear from my family, like, everybody's fine. I don't think, I think it's just too much of a, like, a big deal. I don't know. I think it's getting better. We'll see. We still have a few months left. I think it's going to get better. It's, it's definitely a satire. I think above all it, it is a comedy, but it has elements of horror and sci-fi and drama as well. So it really is a mishmash of genres and it makes for something unlike anything else I've ever seen before in the best way. I'm so proud of it. Couldn't be more proud. Well, my, my mom loves her genius and I created a it certainly reminds me of her, but I think also she had a real zest for life as joie de vie, and I think the fragrance has that in it, so hopefully that does remind them of her. a good perfume. I love a nice smell, whether it's at home, a candle smell, a man that smells good, a woman that smells good and clean, baby smell. That's like one of my favorite. I just had a baby seven months ago and the smell of a baby, I just wish I could put it in a bottle. There we go.